Hey guys, Zoko here with a new guide for ESO. Today we are going to go over an easy money making method that isn't too hard to learn and can be very rewarding without a lot of invested time. Before we get started, if you enjoy ESO content, whether it's guides, PvP videos, and also other RPGs and MMOs, hit that subscribe button below. Also, a like and comment will go a long way as well in supporting me. We are going to go over some champion point allocations that can help you in farming. You would ideally want at least 75 points into Lover for the chance to double your gathering amount and reduce the time it takes for you to actually gather the node itself. These are very helpful increasing the amount of resources farmed and therefore your money you're making an hour. You also have enough champion points uh, beyond that. You could also drop 75 into the Shadow Tree to get Treasure Hunter. Uh, for when you're running around, it's also nice in case you run across any chests. Obviously, none of this is required. Maybe you're only running around while waiting uh, for a dungeon queue or something. It's all good. I'm just saying this helps. Additionally, having the passives unlocked that allows high-quality tempers to be obtained when refining raw materials is a must-have for this type of farming and really increases, uh, again, your gold per hour because of all the raw materials you have to refine by the end of it. So use the add-on harvest map. It's a very useful add-on that puts down a pin marking a spawn point of a particular type of node that you have gathered. I also changed one of the settings that only shows the marker if the node is currently up. Meaning if someone has recently harvested it and it has yet to respawn, the marker will not appear. It still shows up on the map, but the pin that is active in the world will not be visible. Whether that is ore, alchemy regions, raw cloth, whatever you need for crafting, really, this add-on works for all of it. If you don't have it and are interested in it, you can pick it up at esoui.com. If you play on console or just can't use this add-on for whatever reason, nothing to really worry about, you just might be a little less efficient. So our farming location we are using today is in Craglorn. The reason we are focusing on Craglorn for farming is because of the potent Nern Crux that drops from the nodes here. That drop alone gets us about 30k, depending on your server, obviously. Uh, you can usually get about one of these per hour, I have found. Other focuses that we're going to try and get are uh, Cornflower Regents uh, and any of the Ancestor Silk nodes that we, uh, we come across. I'm filtering down on the ore nodes themselves though, so I don't get too sidetracked from my harvest map when I'm running around. The reason I focus mainly on ore is because of the tempering alloys you can get from refining, and I believe ore is more abundant in this area, and so I'll just be more efficient because of that. Maybe that's not true, but it's what it seems like to me. However, if I see something else close by, I will grab it, but without the indicators marked on Harvest Map, I won't be tempted to go too far out of my way to grab something. Okay, so right now I am outside of Belkarth, and I don't use any particular route, I just kind of roam the countryside, I guess. I also cleared out my inventory from the blacksmithing and alchemy sec sections to help with visualizing what I was able to obtain. If I were to do this normally, I wouldn't bother doing this, obviously, but I thought it might help. I didn't have enough bank and bag space to get rid of all of my clothing materials, but I kind of just grabbed silk as I am near it. And I'm kind of keeping a mental quantity of what I am able to gather. I don't hunt it down like I do the ore. Also, it's worth mentioning, I have Ring of the Wild Hunt equipped, which really helps with my speed. So that will have an impact on how much I am able to bring in. I am going to run around here for an hour and just see what I can pull in. Some hours are better than others, I'm sure you know. Hopefully this one's a good one. I'll show you what I got when I'm done. Okay, so I had a decent run. I had one potent Nern Crux, which has been, again, going for around 30k recently, give or take. Four fortified Nern Crux, which is about two and a half thousand uh over 200 rubidite ore for 100 ancestor silk 10 corn flowers and various other regions so let's refine these raw materials and see what we can get from them all right so i had a bit of a brain fart i messed up and didn't get a recording of me refining the silk but take my word for it please when i said i was able to get one drew wax out of it out of the hundred but i'm gonna hit the rubidite here in a second and that seems about right. Over 200 ore refined and I wasn't able to get one tempering alloy. So, breaking down what I earned today. We got one potent Nern Crux, four fortified Nern Crux, one Drew Wax, 
10 corn flowers. I get my pricing for these at Tamriel Trade Center, which is a pretty reliable website and a good way to figure out where to price yourself uh, competitively. And using it for this, I get an approximate total of about 51k. Please also bear in mind, this doesn't count many of the other materials gathered. These are just the ones I can sell consistently and easily. If I were to able to sell everything, the title would or the total would be considerably higher. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I think this is a very easy farming method to learn and it's a good location for pretty much everybody. Be sure to check me out on Twitch and drop me a follow so you can catch me when I'm live streaming. Thanks for watching. Until next time.